Hi everybody, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I am going to be doing another declutter. I have been doing a lot of cleaning out, a lot of decluttering, and just trying to get ready because in a month or two I will be having a whole new background and I just want to kind of get like all the old out and things that I don't use so I can get it nice and cleaned up for some new stuff and some things that I love. So if you're excited to see what is in my box of declutter then go ahead and keep on watching. Also, if it seems like I'm tending to look down a little bit, I will let you guys know I now have a monitor and not just my viewfinder. Um, so I, I'm trying to like teach myself like don't look down all the time unless I'm doing like makeup or trying to see if something's in focus. It's very hard. Um, but the reason I got the monitor is because I have, I don't have good eyes. I wear contacts and my eyes are still just not good. So trying to see the viewfinder from like over here it tends to be a little tricky on my uh, more mature eyes so I had to get a monitor and I finally have one and it's so cool and it's so big but look at me looking down so I'm trying I am trying to like you know focus on you guys but it's, it's hard so bear with me all right so we're gonna go into this box this has a lot of skincare too I feel like because I haven't decluttered my skincare in god knows how long some of it's trash some of it I'm giving away you know the deal, none of it gets wasted unless it's just old. Also, just as a PSA, if you guys want to know how I got this makeup look, I'll go ahead and link it up here as a video I uploaded yesterday. I recreated Jaclyn Hill's new go-to makeup look. Um, I think it actually turned out really nice. I really, really enjoy it. I love the colors. It's a very fun, like, look. Uh, but I have decided that I'm going to start doing that on Mondays, so I'm pretty excited about that. Basically, it's just going to be... Mondays are going to be for me recreating other makeup looks that I find from big influencers, small influencers, regular people just doing makeup. I just thought it would be really fun. So if you guys are excited about that, make sure you go over there and you comment different people or looks that you want to see me recreate. So let's get into this unboxing. Unboxing? We're not unboxing. What the hell? Let's get into this declutter. So the first thing, first things first, are these glitters from ColourPop. So these are the glitter glitterly obsessed body glitters. I want to say when I was using them I did put them on my eyes. I know they're not intended for your eyes. Don't come for me. I know. But I don't use body glitter and I really didn't use it more than like one time on my eyes. These two I will be keeping from the villain collection just because I still have the box and I plan on displaying that because this was one of my favorite. Oh gosh favorite collections of all times and this one is super dried out so I just don't that's how long I've had them and I just don't use them uh so these will not be thrown out they will be put back in the box this one's not dried out though I wonder if this one was left open by my daughters but I will be keeping these to put back in the collection so I can display them where these came from the Bretman Rock collab that they did and these will be going to my daughters because they really like these they put them all over their body and all that and I just don't y'all know how I feel about glitter you know how I feel about it you know so the next thing I have in here is the ordinary glycolic acid uh I've talked about this and how it just really kind of burned my skin and I didn't feel like it did much to my skin so I stopped using it and it's pretty old so that's probably going to go in the trash instead of me giving that away it's pretty pretty old um, there's so much stuff in here. Oh my god. So the next thing is a Pixie Hydrating Milky Peel. I do get the Pixie PR and this was one of the things I got and I just, I never really used it. I don't think I used it at all. No, I used it once. I had to have used it once because these usually come sealed. So, but I just don't reach for it. So I will be giving that one away because I don't, it's like, it's like really, really full. So I'll go ahead and put that in a box to give to some of my loved ones. And then I have an ultra facial cream calming hydration for sensitive skin from Kiehl's that I actually got at TJ Maxx. But here's the thing. I don't use it. I probably used it like one time. It wasn't, I didn't, oh my God. I didn't like how it felt on my face. It was just kind of like, ugh. like it was just kind of like weird feeling, like oily almost. So, and the smell is just, ugh. so if someone doesn't want it, I'll probably, I will probably be throwing that one away, but the smell is so weird to me. It's like, I don't know, it's weird. So then I have two products from Laneige and one is the Sleeping 
the water sleeping mask which I do actually love this product but I've had this one for quite a while because I've been trying a whole lot more new skincare and I just it's kind of old and expired at this point but this one isn't bad the only thing about this one is it has a lot of fragrance in it so I just I tend to try to stay away from that now and then this is the Laneige essential power skin toner I really did like this one but again it's just one of those things that I just don't use it anymore so I'm going to pass it along this box is a mess I guess I'll go through all this skincare first so the next one is a pixie skin treats glow mud mask my daughters use this more than I do I don't really use it so I'll be giving it to them and then I have some like little samples here that I've been hoarding for God knows whatever reason. And then this is another sample. This is the Clarins Mission Perfection Targets Persistent Dark Circles. So I actually really did like this product and I think I'm going to look on Sephora to see if they have if they still have it like if it's not discontinued but I used to really really wear this a lot when I was doing like no makeup makeup look. So like it would kind of I'd put it under here and it would really just like bring out a brighter eye um, because it's like a peachy color. So then I got the CEO Rapid Flash Brightening Serum. I got this from, I forget who gave me this. I don't remember. I don't remember. I didn't buy this from Sephora. I don't remember how I got it. I think someone gave me a whole bunch of stuff that they got from Sephora. I don't know if it was like they bought it or if it was like, you know how Sephora gives their employees like different products and stuff. I don't remember, but I just honestly, I never really used it. I may have used it like once or twice and then I went to use it the other day and it was like brown. It's a vitamin C serum. So, which means if it's brown, it's gone bad. So I just really, I just never used it. I don't know why I just didn't so this is a urban decay D de slick makeup setting spray I have had this since so they had their all-nighter setting spray that they've had forever and then they launched a bunch of different other ones like the anti-pollution the D slick and all that I've had this since it came out and it's still pretty full I don't use it I just don't use it so I'm getting rid of it like I tell myself I'm going to and then I don't so it's going the next thing is another vitamin C serum I actually got this vitamin C serum from Makeup Revolution. It was a PR box and I don't use it and I never used it. So I went to open it just to see how the coloring is because I just want to make sure it wasn't bad. Wow. Oh, wow. When I opened it and I don't want it to happen again. Did you hear that? Oh my God. It's frightening. When I opened it, it exploded. Do you see that? Like chunky brown nastiness. It exploded everywhere. It like, it was pressurized, I guess. I don't know. But when I opened it, it went and it got everywhere. And I was like, fudge. I probably should use vitamin C serum, but I just don't if we're being honest. So the next thing is the pretty the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Primer. I did really like this for a while, but here's the thing this is not this color and if I shake it now it still isn't getting really back to its color so this is supposed to be like more of a light peachy color but it's starting to discolorize and go to like more of a deep orange so it just kind of freaked me out so I'm pretty sure it's expired so I'm getting rid of that too and then I have a facial radiance polish this is just an exfoliant from first aid beauty it's a physical exfoliant it has beads and stuff in it I just don't use them anymore I only use chemical exfoliants because they're better for my skin so I will be giving this one away because it's not expired it's really not even that old not that old and here's another one of those all-nighter sprays yeah pollution protection so when they launched like they launched a bunch of these I don't remember when it was but this is one it's going it's going so I have the ordinary hyaluronic acid this is actually one of my favorite products but it's almost empty so I'm getting rid of it because I got a new one but it's actually a really 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 good product and then I am getting rid of the ColourPop lippy scrub this just for me was way too soft and way too oily it didn't really scrub anything so I'm getting rid of that I think that's all no I have another skincare thing which by the way I recently bought this for because I was having issues really really bad issues with dry eyes recently so I bought this thinking because it's a cool plumping something from milk makeup it's cooling water so I thought it would help like hydrate my eyes but it really didn't technically it's supposed to depuff your like lower eye but it really didn't do that either so I'm just I'm gonna get rid of that I have some lanolin cream which is actually <laughs> funny you should ask it's actually nipple cream um and can I say nipple 
I don't, I don't know that I can. But it's nipple cream for when you're breastfeeding. Uh, I was told that it's really good for eczema and chapped lips and I put it on my lips and my, like around my mouth where I get my eczema and it really irritated it. So I am getting rid of that. And then I just have like two more like, like samples. These are just samples that are really old that I've had for like ever. So I'm just getting rid of them. Like I'm not giving them away. They are super old. Okay, some makeups is in here. So the one thing I'm getting rid of is the Celestial Thunder Palette by Dominique Cosmetics. I got this in a boxy charm. I think it is a beautiful palette, honestly and truly I do. But I used this palette one time when I got it a year ago and I haven't touched it since. So I'm actually giving that away and then I have two ColourPop palettes I'm giving away the Soul and Mar collection again very beautiful palettes I actually used these quite a bit when I first started my venture with makeup and like Instagram quite a lot quite a lot the Mar is my favorite but I just I really don't reach for them I don't use them and if they can go to a home where they can be used and loved so be it. Foundations that I'm getting rid of and why. So this is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. Uh, this is not a bad foundation. It's a drugstore foundation. I just had it for so long and it started to kind of smell funny. So I was like, okay, it's going bad. And I just haven't repurchased it. So nothing wrong with it. It's just old. This is the Morphe Fluidity Matte Full Coverage Foundation. I got, I did a whole haul on these. These are not for my skin. I do want to try their newer foundations because they're supposed to be more lightweight and more luminous, but these were just not good. They were very drying, very like they stuck to everything. They cracked. They were not good. They just weren't a good foundation. So I'll be getting rid of those. They just weren't good. I'm not going to lie. I know a lot of people loved them. I did not. I did not at all. And then I have an AOA Pro Wear. This is actually um, from Miss A, I think it was. I did a whole haul. I really like this foundation. I just don't reach for it, so I am going to give it away. Same thing with the dollar store makeup. Uh, this was a dollar from the Dollar Tree. It actually wasn't bad, and I kept it for a while because I was like, oh, I could take it and kind of like, you know, touch up as I go. I don't. I don't use it, so it's going to go. A lot of the stuff lately that I'm decluttering, I find that I don't have any issues with them. I just don't use them, and I would rather, you know, clean it out and get rid of it for stuff that I will use. So three of these, these are all concealers, by the way. I have a real big problem with foundation and concealers. Three of these are Kylie concealers. I really, really do love her her brand. I love the concealers. They're very nice. They can be lightweight. You can build them up. They're, they're really nice, but they're old. <laughs> I've had these since they launched. That's how old these are, okay? And if you know how long that is, I'm pretty sure it's over two years. But I got rid of them because they're old, so I'll be throwing those away. Um, I will not be giving people expired makeup. And then I got new ones because they were on sale for eight bucks. I paid like $20 for those. So I got new ones to replace them. The next two are ColourPop ones. I um love the ColourPop concealers just as much as I love those. These are a little bit more full coverage, but again, they're very old. So I am going to be replacing them. This one broke off. The doe foot is in here. Could not get it out. So that's why that one's going. But these are just kind of really old so I just want to replace them with newer ones. And then the next one is this. It is a Morphe concealer. My daughters have the other ones. I had two more that I was giving away or getting rid of. Oh God, they this stinks so, it smells like paint. And I don't know that if it's expired or if that's how it smelled when I got it because I haven't used these in like forever. They're very full coverage, but they're very drying full coverage. So I'll be throwing that out because I don't like it. And then I have some eyeliners in here. So this one is an Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner. There's nothing wrong with it. I just don't use it. This is a double ego, double ended eyeliner that I got from a BoxyCharm like four years ago and I don't use it and it dried out. Another eyeliner, it's just a brown Jordana eyeliner. Let me tell you about Jordana. So back when I was, you know, first starting into YouTube, I watched Carly Bible a lot and she loved this brand. So I went right to Walgreens and I bought it up and I just never used these. I have the Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D. It dried out. I have the Kaja, I think it's Kaja, the Wink Stamp. So I'm keeping the liner, it comes as a set, but this is supposed to stamp the little wing on your eye and then you draw it. 
but I don't like the size of these and I also don't like how they look when I stamp it so I'm, I'm getting rid of that but I'm keeping the liner because the liner is really nice and then I'm getting rid of this Fergie wet and wild white liner because I had like three of them but I also don't know where the lid is for that one and then some more Jordana liner brown more Jordana liner brown and then this one sadly is a Laura Lee Los Angeles liner and the reason I'm getting rid of it is because it's been like that since the day I it arrived at my house so I can't sharpen it or anything because it just slides out when I go to use it which really sucks because her eyeliners are actually not bad at all but the problem is <laughs> it's just oh you don't sharpen this what my whole life is a lie is there more liner in there two thousand years later so no you can see the tip very lightly in here there's a little white tip and that's the end of it so the reason you get way more product than this but it just kept falling out and it just kept breaking so I don't know what happened I really really like the other one I have but this one just it did not work out for me so she is going and then the last thing yes the last thing I have is a pure four-in-one color correcting primer and I got this again from another BoxyCharm. There's nothing wrong with this primer. It's not even really that old so I'll probably be giving this one away as well but I just I don't use it. I have a lot of other primers that I reach for more so that is why she is in the declutter. I a lot of people really liked it and I'm pretty sure it's like really pretty. Oh it is really nice and like really hydrating feeling I feel like but Again, it's not something that I use, so I'm getting rid of her. <laughs> I'm doing good things. And like, I like to tell myself like I'm doing good things because like I'm decluttering, I'm cleaning up, I'm removing old excess, but the, the bottom line is I'm doing it so I have more room to buy more stuff. It's what I do. It's probably a problem and that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. We just gotta make sure we don't hoard. That's how I know though I'm not a hoarder because I'm able to get rid of stuff. So, <laughs> but that is it guys for today's declutter. I will be doing a lot more hauls probably soon because of all the stuff that I've been decluttering. I am going to be buying new stuff, some newer stuff, same stuff that I like, just repurchasing. So I will be having those up. And again, I am starting a new series on Monday. So make sure you stay tuned for that. So leave a comment down below and let me know, do you guys have trouble getting rid of your makeup or is it easy to kind of replace it? Do you hold on to stuff that you know is expired just because you love it? Or is it easy for you just to kind of throw it away and get new ones? So I hope you guys like this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up for me and make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I do six videos every single week and you do not want to miss out on that and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!